Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Uncle Frank and I am not a financial advisor nor is any of the content to be construed as financial advice. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so a lot of people think they know what's coming on XRP. So I wanted to make a video so you may know what's coming on XRP because everyone has seen the pump and seen the headlines, right? XRP hits coveted $1 milestone for first time since 2021 as ripple ceo says pressure now lifted ripple class action lawsuit moves to final judgment as xrp pumps xrp price skyrockets past one dollar as sec faces legal troubles and favorable regulatory shift looms and finally fox business confirms ripple ceo meeting with donald trump Okay, now let's see what's coming. Okay, this is what's already in the pipeline. Right now, this is what's coming from November 1st. 21 Shares joins the race to launch an XRP ETF with SEC filing. Swiss ETF issuer 21 Shares has filed an S1 form with the SEC to launch a spot fund that tracks the price of XRP. Okay, this is already in the pipeline. This is forthcoming from October 31st. The US SEC has finally acknowledged an XRP linked ETF filing. According to Nature Racy, the president of the ETF store, this is the application submitted by the popular asset management firm, Grayscale Investments. The asset manager filed to convert the Grayscale Digital Large Cap Fund or GDLC into an ETF. Also from October, Bitwise updates XRP ETF filing with new S1 submission. The updated filing expands on Bitwise's earlier submission covering custody, basket creation, and contingency plans amid XRP's regulatory uncertainty. Okay, yet again, in the pipeline, forthcoming, Canary Capital Group has officially submitted a registration with the U.S. SEC for its proposed Canary XRP ETF aimed at providing investors with exposure to XRP. The exchange-traded fund is designed to give investors an option rather than directly holding XRP making access easier through traditional brokerage platforms. That was early October when XRP was still under 60 cents. Why am I excited about these forthcoming events? Because I can point to the success of events that just happened. XRP takes top spot on Robinhood's biggest movers list following its relisting. This is old news, but this article is exactly from one month ago. In a groundbreaking development, it has been confirmed that over 200 financial institutions have joined RippleNet. It is a move that significantly expands the adoption of XRP. A recent court report from the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit highlighted that many payment companies and credit unions are leveraging XRP as a bridge currency to facilitate faster, more efficient transactions. Ripple's innovative technology is attracting major banks. It allows them to process payments without needing traditional correspondent banking relationships. Not just FX Empire, not just crypto newsflash, but mainstream financial media has been pointing to what's about to happen since the middle of this year. From Forbes, Visa, MasterCard, JP Morgan, and Citi reveal crypto plan for mass institutional adoption after Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP price pump. JP Morgan to accept XRP for credit card and mortgage payments. XRP price forecast, JP Morgan cross-border payments could drive XRP to 1,000, analyst says. Mason Verslewis, an XRP community figure and founder of Gold Squad, 
presented a sheet last August of hypothetical price requirements for varying cross-border payment volumes. Citing the Bank of England, Ripple noted in its 2023 new value report that the cross-border payment sector could witness a $250 trillion in volume over the next three years. Do you see the titles of these two articles from this month? Just to be in the running to replace an institution like SWIFT is amazing to me. Everyone that has ever remarked to me, well, what about the 100 billion XRP? Isn't that a lot? Are you waiting for them to burn some? Actually, no, because after working with SWIFT for decades, I know they move around 5 trillion per day on average. If XRP captures a fraction of that business, it will move the needle. And XRP unlocks trap liquidity, which these same institutions we're talking about need like the desert needs the rain. How high will XRP reach if Ripple replaces the SWIFT system? RippleNet versus SWIFT, the global contender. From that article, Ripple is known for launching RippleNet an able competitor to the current SWIFT system, which can effectively carry out transactions at a very fast pace. As XRPL spreads like wildfire, we cannot help but wonder about the possibility of it replacing SWIFT and what will happen if it manages to do so. According to data from BIS, the global cross-border transaction market had already hit 130 trillion in 2022. These metrics are a testament to how huge the cross-border payment market is in all its glory. The fact that these numbers are constantly rising speaks volumes about the daily workload that this market manages. SWIFT is an active player in the market. The system processes nearly 42 million messages daily, covering transactions across 11,000 financial institutions in over 200 countries. Now, RippleNet is the newest player in the domain, and it was launched to give stiff competition to the SWIFT system. As of 2023, RippleNet has successfully transacted with 300 institutions processing billions. Regarding technology, SWIFT deploys an FIN method to authenticate and process transactions after receiving bank confirmation, while RippleNet relies on blockchain to validate transactions. The technology eliminates the need for intermediaries to process transactions, making it a relatively fast technology. So, Uncle Frank, what's with the clickbait? Why do you think XRP will flip Ethereum in 2025? Well, I hate to break it to you, but it's done it before. December of 2017. Digital currency, Ripple XRP, soars nearly 56%. Becomes second largest crypto by market cap. Ripple XRP climbed 55.9% to a record high of $2.23 Friday afternoon, According to Coin Market Cap, the digital currency had a market cap of 86.3 billion, surpassing Ethereum's 73 billion, according to the website. Now, this is not investment advice, and I'm not an investment advisor. I will never tell you to buy, sell, or hold any security or cryptocurrency, including XRP. But I say it's about to flip Ethereum again. If XRP gets to 650, that milestone will be achieved. That's less than twice XRP's all-time high of 384. So how can it get there, Uncle Frank? The old-fashioned way. More buyers than sellers. Here's a list of the potential catalysts. The official exit of Gary Gensler. The conclusion of the SEC versus Ripple case, a more favorable crypto regulatory environment, at least four XRP exchange traded funds, mass adoption of RippleNet by global banks and institutions, the proliferation of Ripple's stablecoin RLUSD, and the Ripple IPO itself, and the wildcard 
the percentage of Swift's business Ripple XRP can capture. It's that simple. Hey, I want to thank you for watching, and please remember to hit the like button after this slide if you enjoyed the presentation. Subscribe to the channel and set the alert so you're notified when I have new information to share. See you at the bell.